today we are going to be doing the first Adobe Illustrator tutorial. Now I'm not a professional at Illustrator, but I know a couple of things. And um, there's no denying that it is the best, or one of the best at least, uh, program for creating vector shapes. And what vector is, is pretty much, uh, it uses math to create color and shapes instead of pixels. Now, Illustrator isn't something that you're going to use to uh, touch up your Christmas pictures, but it's going to be used for creating logos and such. Um, when you create with Vector, you can create a logo that will can be scaled down to small enough to fit on a business card, and then scaled up to fit on like the side of a truck or a billboard, and it won't lose any quality in that because it's computer numbers to create a shape instead of little tiny squares aka pixels. So today we are going to be creating a very simple logo but the logo is going to require us to use quite a few tools which will hopefully give you a nice jump start on creating your own. So let's go ahead and start off by selecting this well let's first turn on a couple of things. Come on over to view and make sure smart guides is checked and then come on over to Illustrator or it might be an edit preferences it depends on if you're on Windows or a Mac so go to preferences in general and make sure scale stroke and effects is checked now you can mess around with that it doesn't have to be checked it's up to you so to start off I am going to hold on the shift tool and just like Photoshop it will draw a perfect circle alright so now as you can see there's no fill no stroke nothing and you can see that by this side right here and unless you're colorblind you can see it right here and now to change that um, I'm going to click right here which is the fill color and then I'm just going to select this orange right here and if you want to stroke around it you come over to here and you can select a green or purple whatever fits so I'm, I don't want to stroke on it I just want to fill color so I click on this right here which gets rid of the stroke and I'm left with a circle with one color in it so now I want to make sort of like a cutout like a half moon from this so to do that I'm going to create another circle a little bit smaller and I'll change the color just so you can see what it looks like let's change to um, if that works and I'm going to select this black the black uh, arrow and what that does is it allows me to select the entire shape now this one is more so I can select the points um, like that and edit it so I just want to select that black one because I want to select the whole shape I'm just going to drag this around something like that right there works alright so now um, you want to come over to window Pathfinder and with the Pathfinder open select both of these shapes and then click this one which is merge and it'll bring this all into one shape alright so now you can select and move those around if you want but what I want to do is direct select which is that gray one and just delete that blue circle okay <clears throat> so now that I have that I'm gonna select this with the black uh, black arrow, copy and paste it with Apple C and Apple V, and then I'm going to rotate this and scale it down just a little bit, something like that. Let's change it to uh, a green color works. Alright, so now I'm going to select this orange one again, Apple C, Apple V, and I'm going to rotate it again. something like this move it into place wherever you want it right there works so now they are or let's change this color real quick to a light blue alright so now they are all stacked up in a strange way so I want to change that so I'm going to select this green one object arrange send it back and then same thing with the blue one send it back and you can see they're stacked a little bit nicer. This one I'm just going to rotate slightly. 
I don't know, something like that. All right, so now that we have this, you can leave it like this if you want, and you can have a, uh, you can seal this logo. Go ahead. But I'm going to add shadowing. And to do that, I'm going to grab this brush tool and a black paint brush. I'm going to draw out a line. Let's change the weight to about four pixels. So select that, delete, and okay, it didn't change. All right, anyhow, to change the, this is the stroke window, and that's in window and stroke. So now I'm going to draw out a new shape right here with four pixels. It doesn't have to be perfect. Maybe a little better than that. Okay, and let me delete this useless one and then select this one and we can change it probably to five or six pixels let's go five and then to make it into a shadow I'm going to use effect blur Gaussian blur and the preview doesn't look very good you can't really tell from that so let's just mess around with this 7.4 looks fine and I want it behind this orange one, so I'm just going to go Object, Arrange, um, Send Backwards, and that will bring it back one layer. And let's just move this around to however you want it. If you want to change the length of it, you can just use that gray selection tool. Oops. And then just drag it around. Uh, something like that. I'll uh, bring it back just so it's not showing into the white, and same with this one. Okay, so now that you have that, I'm going to select that shadow, go to Window, and then Transparency. I'm going to lower this down to, let's try, 50. Alright, you can see where that's going. And I'm going to uh, draw another shape with the brush tool. Uh, let's draw one up here. Let's try to get a little bit neater up there. And then one more right there. OK, so now I'm going to select those shadows again. And a quick shortcut is Apple and then the la left bracket, which is the key next to your P key on your keyboard. And that will bring it back one layer each time you click it. So I'm going to do the same thing with all those. And this shadow, we can, well, this one maybe will make it a little bit darker, 60 or so. This one, 60. And now the next tool I'm going to use is the pen tool. And this is the tool that you are probably most likely going to use um, whenever you design something in Illustrator. Something other than that you can get away with like the elliptical tool and all that. So what this tool is, is you might have used it in Photoshop. It's just a click. You click again and you get these handles and you can draw out a shape. And then you hold down your alt key and click on a corner. It'll make it sharp. So then you can just come on over and do that. If you didn't click your Alt key, it would look something like this. Oops. All right, I can't show you right now. <laughs> so you can just do that. And I'm going to click this arrow right here so it swaps so there's no stroke, but the fill is black. I'm going to change that to white and lower this opacity to about 20%. Let's move that wherever you want it. That looks good. All right, so I'll show you that one more time. So what I do is I click, click again where you want that point to go, rotate it, and then I hold down Alt and I click here because if you don't, it'll look all funky and rounded like that. All right, so click, hold down Alt, click the corner, and then bring it out like that. And then again, I want to send it backwards, so Apple, and then the left bracket, just like that, move it around, and bring down the opacity to about 20%. Okay, and that's it for this tutorial. This was a very simple 
simple, uh, simple thing to get you started with Illustrator. Hopefully you learned a couple of techniques and put it on, you know, use it to create your own logos. I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.